Hello and welcome to another CSS tutorial. So here we're going to place an image in the background of some text. You can see that this is the image that we're going to use. So this is going to be the final product. We're going to put an image in the background of some text. Okay, so let's start this tutorial. So open up your code editor and let's start building. So first of all, we're going to need a HTML template. This is a HTML page. So I use the HTML5 doc type and then I'm going to need the HTML tags and I just give it the language of EN and then we're going to need some head tags. So we just set up the head area first. So we've got some basic meta tags. So here I'm just following the bootstrap um, template or boilerplate. So I set out the viewport and the character set and then I link into the bootstrap CSS. Simple as that. So now I have access to the Bootstrap CSS. I now need my own style sheet. So I'm going to build a new style sheet in a second. Um, I'm going to call it style.css. So here I'm just linking to that, the dot referring to this directory, and then forward slash uh, referring to the fact I need to look in my directory for a, a file called style.css. So now I'll just give it a title of hello world. And now I can start my body. So. That's the template now in place. So what I need here is a container. So I'm using Bootstrap here. So I'm going to build a container. So here I've got the div. Um, this is the main container for this um, preview uh, for this tutorial. So here I'm using a class from Bootstrap called container. That's going to make me a nice container that's centralized. And I'm going to give this a view height of 100 because what I want to do is center align this in the middle of the page and also vertically align this in my page so it fits in the middle of my page. So first of all, I give this a view height of 100. So it's going to maximize uh, top to bottom the view. So this div is going to stretch from the top to the bottom of the page. Sorry if that didn't make sense. And now I'm going to make a new um, element inside of here. And this is going to be a, a bootstrap row. Now notice that I'm also creating a, a view height of 100. So this element here is going to stretch from top to bottom of the page. Now, this element here is also going to stretch from the top and the bottom of the page. So what I'm trying to do now is fit anything inside of this in the middle of it. So I set this to view height 100. Now, this is a, a little bit advanced, but I'm utilizing Deflex from Bootstrap. And I'm then going to create a, all the items in the center. So I align all the items in the center of the page. So that's the instructions that I'm providing here. And then I create a new div here. And then I center align the text inside of this container, utilizing text center. And I've got H1 here, heading. And this is the text that I'm going to use to put the image in the back of that image. Sorry, I'm going to put the image in the back of that text. That's right. OK, so that's what I've got there. And that's all we're going to need. So after doing that, utilizing Bootstrap, you can see that I have a center aligned and vertically aligned text, and it's ready now to apply the image in the background. So if you're not familiar with this, I'm going to be utilizing some Google fonts. So I want a nice bold font. So I select a big, a nice little, <laughs> okay, um, font properties, thickness, and then I select a bold font to have a look. And then I just select a nice font that I'm going to want to use. So I'm just going to be utilizing this here. So I select that and then I select this style that I want in this case, nice black. So I select that and then I click on embed. So here I want the import. So I'm going to copy this piece of code here to my code. So I've created a new file called style.css in the same directory as my index page and I've pasted this in. Uh, to the file there. So next up, I'm going to change the background to black. So I'm going to be utilizing the body here to do that. And then I change the background color to black. So now I have a back black background color for my scene. I now I'm going to I'm now going to create a H1 style. So if you remember, um, my text is currently inside a H1 tag here. So I'll go back here. And now, first of all, I need to now go back to my font because I want to now copy the CSS rules to specify the family of font that I imported. 
So I'll do that next. So I'll go back here and import that. So now I've imported the, the font that I wanted. And also now I'm declaring it. I want to use it within this H1. So now I've done that, I'm gonna be utilizing font size and I'm gonna be using, using a view width here. So what that means is my text is going to scale depending on the size of the width of the page. So if someone's gonna be utilizing this in a mobile view, the H1 heading, or the sorry, the text in the H1 tag is going to scale depending upon the sky, the, the size, the sky, the size of your screen. Okay, so now we've got the background. So I'm gonna import the background, it's called bg.jpg. So I put that into my folder and I've select, selected no repeat. So I don't want the image to keep repeating itself, um, maybe when I'm moving it around inside of the text. So I place that in there and then I move on to the position. Now, ideally I've selected an image and part of that image I want to use as the background of the text. You might wanna move around your um, image so that the text is showing, or sorry, the image is showing where you want it inside of the text. Now by using background position center center, it literally is that you're going to center the image to the text center vertical and horizontal. So that does mean that your image as you scale down the page should be consistently shown. It shouldn't be moving about. So um, once you have got the image where you want it, it should always show that part that you want to show inside the text. Okay, so next one is the background. So if this takes a long time to load this image, then this is just like a placeholder color that's gonna be in the background of the text. So we just put that there in case maybe the image doesn't show up. And so there was always gonna be a color in the actual text. So the next one is background size cover. So. This again is just a control method that allows us to um, ensure that the image is in the same place as we scale down. And then we use the background clip. So here, this is where we're actually now defining the image to be placed inside of the text. And we then use the WebKit background clip as well. And then importantly, we make the color transparent. So this means that the text is gonna be transparent and it's gonna then show us the background, which is going to be the background image that we placed inside of it. So that's all we have here. So once you've applied all that, we can now go and have a look to see what we've got. So going back into my browser, we go back and there we go. We've got the image in the background. So if I just remove the text background clip and the color, you can see that when I go back into my browser, uh, you can see the background and you can see roughly where it is. So what we can do now is just transform this, move this around. So how we can move this around is we can utilize background position X and Y. So Y, for example, 100. So we can find that in pixels. So here, if we move the position here, what we can do here by utilizing background uh, position Y and then also position X, we can define where on the X and Y axis the image is gonna be placed. So if I go back now, it should be transformed completely. You can see it's miles down here. So what we need to do, or what you need to do, is just place the image where you want it in the text before you then go ahead and then position, once you position, then go ahead and then place the image back in the background. So using the background clip, the WebKit background clip and the color. So once you've positioned it all, um, yeah, head back in there and replace it and there we go. So let's have a look to see if it's responsive. So I'll press F12, you can see that how that's scaling down. So because we're using the, if we go back, if, because we're using the, um, the VW, the view width, um, it means that it's always going to be percent, a percentage. The text is always going to be a percentage of the view width in terms of the, the height of the text. Okay. So there we have it. How to place an image in the background of text. So 
the code isn't perfect. You'll find that there's going to be some compatibility issues. Um, this can be overcome by some JavaScript, for example, but just for utilizing it on a page, um, just for a bit of fun and learning a little bit about some of this code that we've been utilizing, I think is a good example. So hopefully I'll see you in the next example. Don't forget to like and describe if you like it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial.